Back by unpopular demand, it is I, Lamo McDumdum. Okay, seriously though, a while back, someone noticed my roulette wheel docked on the border of my OBS and asked me if I could do a tutorial on how I did that. So in this video, we will be going through a very useful plugin called Source Dock. You can use this plugin to dock any source you use inside of OBS, uh, your face cam, a text source, or in this case, a browser source that you can nest in a scene and interact with in the border of your OBS without having to switch to the other scene. Another thing you can do with this is set up a text GDI source so that it can be updated with Twitch whispers or information, which is great for one-on-one -on -one mod communication or any other things you might not want in your main chat or on screen, but that might be another topic for another video. In this video, I just want to show you how to easily download, install, and set up SourceDoc. So first things first, you are going to want to go to the SourceDoc download page, link in the description below, and click the download button on the right side. Click the download that says Windows-Installer.zip, which will automatically install the necessary files to the appropriate directories. Unless you are comfortable with placing them manually, in which case you can download the windows.zip. I am not walking through the process of placing the files into the appropriate folders in this video. We don't have time, Stanley. It's a quick vid, no time. Thank you. Once you have source doc downloaded and installed, open up OBS and at the top of OBS, click the tools tab and go down to where it now says source doc and open it. Inside of the source docs window, in the source section, you can find a list of all of your sources and scenes, and you may select one. Title is just the name the doc will show once it is added, so it is easiest to just name it whatever the source or scene is that you're using to avoid future confusion. Window is, well, I don't know, because I've never put anything in that box. So, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> to the right of window are 11 boxes you can check to do some pretty cool things. The coolest. Depending on what your source is or what you are putting in, uh, for me with the roulette wheel, I just have visible and preview on so it is always showing and I can interact with it. If you had a music or other kind of audio source docked, you could turn on the volume meter and media controls to be able to adjust the source's volume or stop, start, and restart the playback. You can also click the filters box to be able to adjust any filters for whatever source without having to go digging for that source or scene. This all comes in very handy when you nest everything, like I do. If you dock an entire scene, you can tick the scene items box and it will list every source in that scene, allowing you to show and hide things without switching scenes. Honestly, there's a bunch you can do with this and I'm not going to go through all of it. Sorry, not sorry. Once you have your dock set up, Click the add button and a window of your docked scene or source will appear and then simply double click it or drag and drop it to dock it in the border of OBS. And that's it. You're done. I hope this video helps at least one person, specifically the person that asked me to make it or I'll die. If you would like any further information or tutorials on how to do things using SourceDoc, please email Santa or leave a comment down below. Or if you prefer, you can stop by a Twitch stream and say hi. I go live every third summer when there is a crescent moon or every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I'm not dead inside. If you enjoyed this video even a little bit and found it helpful, please click the like button. And if you want to learn more cool things you can do in OBS or with StreamerBot, 
or a toaster in a bathtub full of jello, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I really hope you do, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your night. Maybe I will see you in the next video. Until then, as always, take care and stay safe.